So for the Super Bowl special, we're making chicken wings three ways over open fire. Today is Thursday, December 8th, 2022, but this video is not coming out until Friday, February 10th, 2023, the weekend of the Super Bowl. But I'm making my prediction right now. For the NFC, it's the Eagles. For the AFC, how about those Kansas City Chiefs? So we're gonna be making three different flavor profiles for our wings. What they all have in common is salt. So we're gonna start by doing a little bit of a quick dry brine. I'm gonna salt the skin. That's gonna help to keep that skin crispy. And we're gonna give it about an hour to draw that moisture out. All right, the first flavor profile we're gonna make is just a traditional dry rub wing. So I'm gonna start with a half cup of paprika, brown sugar, or if you're keto like me, monk fruit sweetener, a quarter cup of ground black pepper, which I'm gonna be getting out of the uh, pepper can in here because I love fresh ground pepper, a quarter cup of granulated garlic, same thing for granulated onion. Try not to use onion powder if you can help it. Right, let's get a little bit of heat and citrus in here with a tablespoon of ancho chili powder. Now here's a really citrusy flavor. These are Aleppo peppers. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of this as well and a teaspoon of cayenne just to provide a little bit more heat we'll just shake it up to get a good barbecue rub and then we'll get ready to make some sweet teriyaki wings we're gonna start the same way with a half cup of paprika and a half cup of brown sugar or golden monk fruit sweetener but this time we're gonna switch it up a little bit with a quarter cup of cinnamon a tablespoon of the uh, Aleppo you remember this is that citrus flavor one tablespoon of an Asian five spice blend and a couple of teaspoons of allspice Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Yeah, now nah, I'm not Taylor Swift. And it's time to make some hot buffalo wings. So we're gonna go back to another half cup of paprika, and then I'm gonna use a half cup of brown sugar, or again, the golden monk fruit sweetener. I'm gonna do another quarter cup of ground black pepper using uh, my pepper cannon to get fresh pepper, granulated garlic, and granulated onion. All right, by now you know the routine, shake and bake. And I'm just gonna spray canola oil on here. I'm using Pam. This is gonna be my binder. We dried out the wings, so we don't wanna put water on there, but this oil is certainly gonna help. And then we want a nice coating of our dry rub on our wings. Not too heavy, just a decent color. Remember to keep it up high so you can be an even coat. All right, let's go get these on the grill. All right, so we've got a good coal bed here to cook over. I'm gonna move this to the center. This is hot, 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 hot. And then I'm gonna move over some of the coals that we made over here. Make sure we got a nice base here in the middle. All right, now I'm gonna lower the grate. I don't wanna cook right on top of the heat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it up a little bit so that we've got some direct heat, but that it's not super hot and we don't cook too fast. So first I'm gonna put our dry rub wings on. I'm not putting them right over the coals, but pretty close. So next to those, we're gonna do our sweet, soon to be teriyaki chicken wings. And then, why did you put the coals in the middle, Al? Well, that gives me two indirect cooking areas here. So the hot wings, the buffalo wings are gonna go back here. So I'll be back to move these around in about 15 minutes. In the meantime, let's start working on sauce. All right, we're gonna make a little homemade teriyaki sauce. So over relatively high heat, I'm gonna start with a cup of water. I'm gonna stir in soy sauce or aminos if you're keto like me, brown sugar, or once again, golden monk fruit sweetener, a little bit of agave sweetener, the agave syrup, some ground ginger, and some granulated onion. All right, as that starts to simmer, I'm gonna put a little cornstarch, or again, if you're being keto, xanthan gum, in with a little bit more water. All right, this is ready. Let's go flip those wings over and then come back and make some buffalo sauce. All right, we're about 15 minutes in and I'm just gonna turn these over 
and take the ones that were far from the flame and move them close. It looks like they're cooking pretty evenly, even the ones that were uh, closer versus farther, but we'll try to get as close to even as we can. Looks like we're cooking at about the same rate, just eyeballing it. We'll know more in 15 minutes when we come back. At least it'll be 15 minutes for me. For you, it'll be like that. For the NFC, it's the Evil Vikings. It's the San Francisco 49ers. The Tampa Bay Tom Brady's. Somehow, it's the Dallas Cowboys. It's the Washington Redskins. Yes, they're called the Washington Redskins. The Detroit Lions? The <laughs> Packers. Somehow the Bills are poised to lose another Super Bowl. Kansas City Chiefs, the Baltimore Ravens, the Tennessee Titans, the Cincinnati Bengals, returning the Super Bowl, the Miami Dolphins. All right, we're 15 more minutes in. We're looking good. We're not quite there yet. So we're gonna do another rotation here. All right, we'll get our sweet ones here and then our hot wings that are, boy, these are looking so good. All right, let's go get that buffalo sauce. All right, so we're gonna make a really easy buffalo sauce. All right, over relatively high heat, I'm gonna melt one brick of Kerrygold. Then I've got a 28 ounce bottle of Frank's. I'm gonna use about half of it. Throw in some Worcestershire, some agave syrup, a little sweetness there, some ground black pepper, and a little bit of granulated garlic. And as this butter melts down, we're just gonna mix this into a delicious, buttery, spicy goodness. Oh yeah, that is buttery, spicy goodness. I'm gonna cut the heat off here. Let's go see if those wings are ready. They should be pretty close to ready to come off. All right, let's see how we are here. We're uh, looking for 165 degrees. Yeah, I would say we've achieved 165 degrees. Let me just check some more of these. Yeah, I think we are good. Before I taste, it's chicken wings. So there's a couple things I need. I need, uh, need paper towels for chicken wings. I need uh, spinach. What the hell is this doing here? And I need a beer. Let's try the dry rub ring wings first. Mm. Guys, nothing dry about these. Cooking over an open fire. These are really good. I'm gonna go to the teriyaki next. These I think have a lot of flavor, but I don't know if I'll be able to taste them after I taste those hot wings. So let's try the teriyaki. Dudes, it's kind of hard to believe this is keto. Really sweet, but not sticky like a lot of teriyaki wings. This is a great recipe, even if you're not keto. All right, I'm gonna take this one. Cheers. Mm. I mean, hot sauce and butter. Really, really good. I hope you enjoy your Super Bowl. Even if your team's not playing, like my team's not playing. But if you enjoyed this and you enjoyed watching me cook on that, Make sure you watch this video here. This is a video where I have this thing made. It's a really cool video. You should check it out. I'll see you next time on Eat More Vegans.